image from the wood. Yo, what up? It's your boy Image from the Wood, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use your 62 to record mixtapes on Ableton Live. All right, so let's start it out. Um, what you're going to be needing is Ableton. I already have Ableton out. And Serato DJ. Scratch Live won't work for this when you have Scratch Live open. It makes the audio from the 62 exclusively just for Scratch Live. So let's start off. What we're going to go ahead and do is go into the preferences in Ableton. For your input devices, you're going to use 62. And output device, you're going to use 62 as well. On the output configuration, you're going to use, uh, actually click on 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, and 7, 8. On input configuration, 1 and 2 I use for my left turntable, and then 3 and 4 I use for the right turntable. You have 5 and 6, which I actually use as my output on the mixer to my speakers. Uh, so I go ahead and leave that off. And 9 and 10 is actually just the effects, the onboard effects of the mixer. And uh, I, I guess they have their own MIDI line for it. And then uh, 11, 12 is pretty much everything. It's the master, uh, even though you can't control it uh, on the actual mixer. Yep. Okay. And so what we're going to go ahead and do, I'm going to choose one and two here. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rename this track. So track one, I'm going to go ahead and rename it turntable oh, actually left turntable so I'm gonna rename it left turntable track two I'm gonna name it right turntable that's how I like to set my stuff up for recording then on audio from on the left turntable I'm gonna put one and two right turntable I'm gonna use three and four I'm gonna leave the monitors off and then I'm going to hold command and click both of these to record on. So when I record, both of them are going to record at the same time. On my master out, I'm going to go and use 5 and 6. Q out, I'm going to put 5 and 6. And this is mainly just for playback. 5 and 6 is actually the auxiliary output on the mixer, and that goes out to my speakers. Uh, now I'm using Serato DJ. Like I mentioned, Serato DJ uh, leaves the, the MIDI audio open to where you can use it this way. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and give this a try. My bad, my bad. Once I get into cutting, you know, it's it's hard to, to just stop, especially uh, I always like to cut uh, an N right on, on the exact bar. But as you can see, uh, it recorded the audio in two separate tracks. So you got the audio from the left turntable on the top and uh, the right turntable on the bottom. So you got your scratches and your beats separated on here, uh, which makes it very, very dope. For any post-production, um, let's say you messed up on anything, you want to go back and fix uh, or add effects to it, you know, you, now you could do it. As I go ahead and, and hit playback here so you can see once again how it, it recorded it. So you have your scratches at the top. You got the beat at the bottom. And, you know, as you go when you're doing this live, you know, you're pretty much recording everything separated, you know, which is awesome if you want to go back and do some post stuff after. You know, and if I solo here the track, those are just the scratches. You know, that's just the beat. Um, yeah. 
that's uh that's that's pretty much it um as far as recording it you know it's just pretty simple um you know this is something that uh it's hard for me to explain it when when i actually uh talk to homies uh you know about this but uh, i felt like this made it easier for me uh, if i just showed you guys so but uh on serato dj one thing you do want to check in case you you are getting popping because i was getting that at the beginning uh check your usb buffer size uh, and kind of play with it a little bit uh, to see what gives you more pops and all that because that, that had a big issue to, to do with it. And then also go into live uh, on the preferences and then uh, check the buffer size. And same thing, you know, uh, mess with the different settings on there and then get it to where it doesn't give you any pops or any of that stuff. But that's pretty much it. It's just, uh, simple. You know, this is something I stumbled upon just because I don't have uh, an interface. But if you have any technical questions or any of that, um, you know, put them in the comments, I'll try to answer them. If not, check with Ableton, check with Serato DJ, that will be where to go. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I am gonna put some more tutorial videos in the future. Obviously, I'm gonna put some more routine. I got a, a gang of routine videos that, that I've shot that I just gotta go and edit and pretty much put out. So be on the lookout for that. So make sure you subscribe to my page social media anywhere at djiftw and uh yeah that's pretty much it with that said peace